This is a new episode of What's New in Laravel. Hey everyone, my name is Mohamed Saeed, and in this series I share with you the awesome things the Laravel team and community have been working on lately. In today's episode, we have updates on the framework core, we have updates on Laravel Scout, we have updates on Laravel Vapor, and we have updates on Laravel Cache. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's start with a quality of life addition that was added to the framework core and this addition allows us to add context information to subsequent log entries. Let's say you wish to include a request ID in all log entries so it's easier for you to debug what went wrong with a specific request. We can create a middleware that call, that's called assign request ID and inside the handle method, we can use the newly added log with context method to add context information to each request. So let's quickly create a unique request ID for each request. So string, and then we are going to call setter helper and use UUID for now. Now this middleware will run for each request that the application received. And before handling the request by the application, we are going to call log using the log facade and call the new log with context method. This method accepts an array and we are going to add a key called request ID and we will assign the request ID value to that key. And then after handling the request and before returning a response, we are going to include the request ID in a header in the response. Now let's go to our routes file and then throw an exception here. New exception. And that's it. If we go to the browser and visit the route, we can see the exception was thrown. And then back to PHP store and check the laravel.log file which stores all our log entries. And we can see that the exception was thrown and the request ID was added as a context information to this exception. This is quite handy. Another quality of life improvement that was added to the framework core is the ability for us to sort the routes in the route list command to sort it by precedence. This will allow us to debug any resolution issues in our application. So let's run php artisan route list and then set the sort option to precedence. Taking a quick look at the results, we can see that the API user ID route will be matched before the API user current route. This means the API user current route will never be resolved because the API user ID route will be matched first. The solution to this problem is easy to just define the API user current route before defining the API user ID route in your routes file. But we were able to find this problem and debug this issue using the new sort option in the route list command. This is quite handy to debug this kind of issues. Now let's move to Laravel Scout. If you are not familiar with Laravel Scout, it's a package maintained by the Laravel team and several contributors from the community and it allows us to add full text search to our eloquent models. Previously, if you want to test Scout in your local application while developing your application, you would have to set up Algolia or Meli Search to do that. No more. Now Laravel Scout has a new search engine that's called the Collection Search Engine that will allow you to search or to use Laravel Scout in your local development without relying on any external services. All you need to do is to set Scout Driver to Collection in your environment file. And now when you search your models, Scout will use the collection driver. So let's do a quick test. Let's remove this here. And inside the route, we are going to search the user models. So user, and then call the search method. And then find users with name site. And then finally we call get. We're going to use DD just to dump the results. So we're going to use users to array. Now, if we go to the browser and visit this route, we can see that Scout was able to find two users in the database that has Saeed inside one of the attributes of the model. So here we have Mohammed Saeed and then we have Zain Saeed. Under the hood, the collection search engine will use Eloquence Carder method to return one record at a time. So it doesn't have to load all the records from your database into memory to search them. 
it will load one record at a time and then it will filter this record or will check this record to make sure that there is a match or not. This collection driver is a great way to test things locally. So you can focus on building your application without having to worry about configuring any third party services while you're developing. Next, we have a new update on Laravel Cashier with an addition to this incredible library that allows us to retrieve the customer's balance and apply credit and debit transactions to it. So given this billable model, we can use the new balance method to find the current balance of the user. And we can use the apply balance method to apply a credit or debit transaction to the user. So here we are adding 500 to the user credit and here we are subtracting 300 from the user credit. And you can also retrieve all the transactions using the new balance transactions method. Using these methods, we can implement a mechanism in our application to give users credit as an incentive. This credit will be used to pay for their future invoices. I am sure they will like that. Now let's move to Laravel Vapor. Weber is a serverless deployment platform that allows you to deploy your Laravel applications to the serverless environment and gain incredible scalability powers. Recently in Weber, we added a new quality of life feature that allows you to rerun a command that you ran before directly from the Weber dashboard. This new run again button will rerun this command using the CLI Lambda function and show the results in the output section. You can find this command under your environment settings under the commands tab. You click on any command and you will find the run again button there for you to rerun this command. You can also rerun the last command from the CLI using the Vapor command again command or run a specific command again using its ID. If your concern is the scalability, now is a great time to try Laravel Vapor. Go to vapor.laravel.com create an account and run Vapor Deploy to see your application up and running serverlessly. Yes, serverlessly is a word now. And on the other hand, if you want to run your application or deploy it server fully, go to forge.laravel.com and create an account and let us provision the server for you and help you manage it so you can sit back and relax and focus on developing your application. And that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section down below or reach out to me on Twitter and I will do my best to answer all the questions. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive notifications whenever we post new content. Have a great day, enjoy coding and see you later. <music>